subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i am going to show you how you can create and set up your business email using microsoft so let's begin the video first of all if you don't know what is a business email basically this is an any email that contains your business name like wasi at the rate wasitech.com where it can end with any of your business name so the first thing that you need to have is your actual business domain name like if you're making a business email for your website then you should already have purchased that domain name for your website because that is necessary then you're going to create your business email so there are different vendors available like microsoft google or zoho so it will depend on your personal preferences i am going to be using microsoft to create and set up my business email so you're going to open this website from microsoft basically we're going to purchase the microsoft 365 license uh, basically the business license and from here we can actually create our custom email address which will contain our business name so they have different plans the basic standard and so on so you can read the complete features for each plan what is offered what is not so you can read the complete list from here for me since i am starting a startup for me the basic plan will work and this is the cost for a single user the more user you're going to add the more the cost will increase for the basic plan we can use word excel powerpoint outlook on the web and mobile apps only so this will work for me but you can choose according to your need and the best thing why i'm choosing microsoft is that you get one terabyte of cloud storage which is a thing attractive for me so you're going to choose the plan according to your need i'm going to select the business basic one now here you can see i have opened chrome browser and i have opened incognito mode because sometimes it may show issues so open browser like edge chrome or uh, safari and open the incognito mode because sometimes it fails in verification so it's better to open in incognito mode we're going to click on next here you need to set up your subscription how many people are going to use this so for me it's only for me if you have more than one user you can increase it if you're going to pay it yearly it will cost six dollar per month but if you're going to pay on a monthly basis it's 7.20 us dollars so i'm going to click yearly and click on next you're going to enter the email address so i want to set an email for wasi at the rate and then you're going to type your business name uh, or the business domain name that you have purchased in my case it's talentpickai.com again make sure that you already purchased your business domain because it will ask you to connect with it i'm going to click on next so we're going to create a new account using this mail click on setup account here you need to enter basic details like your name, last name, company name, job title and the phone number etc. For adding the phone number first of all select your correct region and then enter your phone number. After that it will ask you how will you sign in. So you are going to set your username. In my case it is going to be wase at the rate your domain name. So in my case it is talentpickai dot on microsoft.com basically first of all it will make a temporary email so that you can uh, access and then you can set up your custom domain or your custom business email so for now we're going to set our username at the rate our domain name and then it's on microsoft.com let me set up a password creating account please do not refresh the page after that we need to set up the payment method so i'm going to enter my basic details and save the card thanks your order is confirmed we have this order and we will also get a email on this when we are going to set it up later before you start your product set up multi-factor authentication so we are going to enable that now we are going to log in to our microsoft account that we just set it up so it's asking me to download and install authenticator app on my phone so that it can enable two-factor authentication I'm going to enter this code on my authenticator app so I'm not going to show you how you can set it up but it's pretty simple on the authenticator app once uh, accepted just click on continue and done here you can see it's going to show my order number so we're going to click on save or print after that I am going to click on start using Microsoft 365 
here it has opened the admin portal business advisor etc etc i'm going to click on skip for now and here you can see so here are different things that you should do on your account so for me i'm going to click on the users and click on active users again it's going to show only the one user that we have set it up we are going to click on manage username and email and you can see we only see the dot on microsoft email so we need to now connect our domain with microsoft 365 so that we can set up our business email with our business name we're going to close it go to setup we're going to click on create a branded business email get started start let us know if you need to migrate your emails in my case it's no buy domain for your business as i told you at the start of this video so i'm going to click on add or buy domain use domain you already on so i already have a domain i'm going to click this one now we're going to start the setup process to connect our domain with our office 365 app we're going to click on continue you need to enter the domain name for your business that you already purchased in my case it's this one continue open a new browser and sign into the website of your domain host we detected your host is namecheap which is correct because i have purchased this domain from namecheap.com in your case it may be godaddy or some other vendor so the step may be a little bit different for your case for complete details you can click on the step by step instructions so we need to add this txt record in our domain if you are using namecheap you are going to click on domain list and select the domain that you have added in microsoft click on manage on the top you have this advanced dns option click on it under host records we are going to click on add new record from this you are going to select txt record in host type at the rate and in the value go to your microsoft page copy the txt value come here paste the value just let it to be automatic and click on save now just wait for 10 to 20 minutes for the changes to be updated after that click on verify once it is verified you are going to set up your new email address so again my current email address was this with on microsoft.com but now my business address will be whatever name that i set at the rate my business name which is talentpickai.com so you can change the name according to your need i'm going to click on update and sign out it will sign us out from this microsoft account and we need to re-log in with this new email and the old password that we have set it up i'm going to re-sign in but with the business email that i just set it up in my case it was this one and now you can see you have signed in with your business email and if you click here you can see the different apps available and if you want to go to the admin portal just click on this admin button it will by default open this setup domain page again because we need to complete the remaining uh, things like connecting our email as well so we are going to complete those steps add records to connect your domain to email which is very important so we need to add this mx record to our domain we need to add this c name add this txt so we need to add these three values to our name cheap domain to add the mx record you are going to scroll down where you see mail settings we are going to click on it and we are going to click custom mx and now we are going to enter the values from microsoft here to here for the mx value here you can see i have added all the three values the c name record the txt record and the custom mx value for the mx record as we see here once you have added all these three things click on connect email it's going to check the dns record for our domain you are all set to use email so now we can sign into the outlook account using our business email and we can send and receive emails click on done and that's all now here you can see the user again if you click on the user you can see the user email is wase at the rate my business name which is talentpickai.com now you can log into your outlook account and use this email so yeah guys in this way you can create and set up your business email using microsoft i know this process was quite complex but i hope now you know how you can do it by watching this video if you guys found this video helpful make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you have any other questions write them in the comments section below 
and that's all for today thank you for watching and as always stay safe